<laughs> oh, brilliant. What a great start to the live stream already. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Eurogamer. Uh, my name's Ian Higton, and uh, this is Rayman Legends, which I'm going to uh, uh, be playing for you in a second. Oh, dear, don't you just love it when things go wrong? Uh, straight away. So, this is Rayman Legends, and uh, my webcam seems to have broken. I'm blaming the heat. Um, of all things. Uh, there's been loads of problems today. I had to uh, put the stream backwards by half an hour because of the uh, uh, because my internet completely died so um, yeah I, I'm guessing it's the heat. It's literally the hottest my room has been so far today. I've got the window wide open again um, and it's pretty hot but um, nevertheless we've got a big cool live stream uh, coming up for you guys, and it is Rayman Legends, of course. Uh, this game has uh, been um, looked forward to by many Wii U users for quite a while, and uh, they decided to bring it out on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the Vita, of course. Um, uh, and so that put the Wii U release back a little bit. I'm playing the Xbox 360 version, a debug version, so there could may well be a few little faults here and there. It's not the final version, but um, it's pretty much the game in its entirety. I'm going to be playing for about an hour. Rayman Legends is developed by Ubisoft Montpellier, and uh, it's published by Ubisoft, of course. And it's going to be out on the Xbox 360, the PS3, the Wii U, and the PlayStation Vita. And it's going to be released on the uh, 30th of August in Europe, and that's uh, 2013. That's this year, of course. Uh, we've got Matthias Prego watching, we've got H. Singh lolling at me, we've got Gavin Rollins saying amazing, uh, we've got Hello Camera Not Available, Devido says, we've got Master for Life there, uh, SP Fan says good job, Matthias Prego says great start lol. It was working a minute ago, um, I don't know why it suddenly stopped working. Let's have a quick look and see if it's working again. No. I'll have a fiddle in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'll go here and then I will turn off my webcam. And I'm going to start a new game. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear the music. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start a new game and then uh, uh, there'll be a little cutscene and I'm going to run off and try and fix my webcam. It may come back. It may not. Oh dear, you're not having the luckiest day. Ah, uh, he says the guru of grunge. No, not particularly. But here we go. Anyway, let's watch the... You guys watch the cutscene, and uh, you might hear some rustling around in the background as I unplug and re-plug in my... Um, my... Webcam! Oh god, it's so hot. You want to start a new game? Yes, I do. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm back, and before I press B to wake up the heroes, let's see if I can wake up my webcam. Hooray! Framing's completely off. But we, we're back, we're back. So, uh, quickly, uh, before I wake up the heroes, uh, follow me and Eurogamer on Twitter for updates on live streams, uh, if you're new, and also please subscribe. There we go. Right, back to the game. 
Let me put my headphones on. Uh, we've got HD Gaming here. And uh, we've got uh, Diego Oliveira. Um, lots of people happy to see the music, uh, the camera's back, so that's good. The music is so fantastic, says SPFan67. It sure is. Let me know if you want me to boost the audio of the game at all. Maybe, uh, maybe this will be a game where boosting the audio would be a good idea. But let's press B to wake up the heroes. So this first level is a little bit of a training level. Kablowy. And that guy, I'm informed, is called... Uh, Where's he called? He's called Murphy, allegedly, and I'll explain more about Murphy in a little bit. That little guy that high-fived everyone. Help me! So if we're rescuing these little blue things this time. As well as lums and fairies. If you're familiar with the first game, you'll be familiar with how uh, Rayman controls. It does change things up a bit. There's a little secret room. Let's go and check out the secret room. Go on. Only half of the fun without his face is Mr. Monkey Face. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, right, here you go. So this is one of those little secret rooms. Ah, try and catch the purple ones, and you get more lums. And here's a, a rescued wizard. You have to collect uh, a certain amount of wizards per level. Is that what people are calling them? Wizards? I'm not sure. I forget what they're called. He looks like a wizard. But I've rescued him though. Let's go! So here you go. This is where... Um, I believe it is Murphy comes into play. So... Murphy here is... Uh, he's kind of the remnants of the Wii U gamepad... Uh, kind of gimmick and the Wii U gamepad you'd com control Murphy using the Wii U gamepad but on the Xbox you obviously don't have a gamepad so you can't uh, control him like that uh, so you can't drag him around and, and touch or whatever so uh, instead I have to press B to make him do stuff so press B to poke the creature in the eye so if I keep poking the creature in the eye by slamming B and jump over I can uh, I can navigate that spiky beast kill these guys Bounce over on that mushroom. I should have gone over that mushroom. I bet there was a secret back there. Press B to repeatedly tickle the enemy. And then I can beat him up by tickling him. Anything up here? Of course, Rayman Legends, as Rayman Origins uh, was, uh, did have. Uh, it had loads of secrets. There's another wizard. Rescued. Hooray. This game looks well fun, says Dodosaurus. <laughs> and uh, the voice acting, haha, ha, top class is Jack M19. Yeah, this game, uh, this game's already just as addictive as Rayman Origins, or Rayman Oranges, as one of my friends calls it. Doo -doo. Rayman Legends, we're playing right now, though. Thanks for adding me on the 3DS, says Mr. UK Raider. No problems. I tweeted out my 3DS code a while back. Added quite a few viewers. So here you go. Here's other things that you can get Murphy to do. Press B to make Murphy cut the rope. Fine. So I can hit these ghosts out of the way. Get out of my way. Uh, all these kind of things would be done using the Wii U control pad rather than pressing B. Of course. But the control mechanism still works well for the... Um, for the consoles. And Murphy doesn't appear in every level. In fact, I've only played a tiny bit, but he didn't appear in any of the other levels past the training room that I played. But I'm going to show you around quite a few levels. I'm going to play for an hour, maybe more, if you guys are keen to see more. Of course, should have said it at the start, really, so apologies, but spoilers. Uh, cut that rope, Murphy. There we go, and let's swing along to the rope. So I got distracted by the fact that my camera had decided to die. Let's cut that. There is a uh, a dude hanging there. I could probably have accident like cooked him alive if I'd cut those ropes. Press B to make Murphy move the platform. There we go. And again. And again. Here he goes. Kill that ghost. I 
can jump over and get this crazy little plant thing. All right. Uh, so I can hold LB or RB to make Murphy rotate the wheel. So here we go. Let's rotate. Oh, I can't rotate it past that way. So let's try it this way. There we go. Goody goody. You can hear a distant help cry of help me. Uh, you can use the Vita screen to use him, says Dodosaurus. Of course you can. Apologies, of course you can. Um, and uh, S325 so Diana says, I guess I'll do something similar for the PS3 version. Yeah, for the PS3 version, I'm guessing you'll have to press circle rather than B. It's a little rotation, rotating puzzle here. Rotate the world. And try not to get killed. Oh god, no! Ah, I failed. What's that? Ten minutes in, first death. Yay! Let's try this again. Oh, come on. Oh, what am I doing? There you go. There you go, I hung on to the side that time. And luckily, as soon as you grab the wizard, you're, you're, you're safe. Um, not sure this game has been sent to die. Origins had a frankly terrible release. They crashed with all the two, with two, three AAA titles. Did well enough to get a sequel it's from Guru of Grunge. Uh, Origins was awesome. Um, and I, don't, I think a lot of people are going to be looking forward to this one. Um, I certainly am. Rayman Origins, I had it on the Xbox and I got it for the Vita and it was one of the only games I played on my Vita. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, this one had a little bit of a problem because it was announced as a Wii U only exclusive and then it wasn't and then it got put back. And But in general, um, no, I think... Uh, Ubisoft have done a lot on this game. They've got a, um, it's a, called a UBR engine that they've worked on to make it look even more lush and beautiful. And and uh, they've added so much more to the game this time around. Uh, there's many games that I'm going to be able to show you some of. And you can also, there's uh, a thing called Rayman. Uh, I think it's Back to Origins, where you can play some of the original Origins levels that have been redone in the newer. Uh, newer engine and make it look a little, make the levels look a little bit better. But we'll, we'll have a look at some of them as well. I'm going to try and show you as much of the game as possible without going through too much of the game, if you see what I mean. Best looking game on the Wii U, says uh, Adam Coro. Is this a sequel to the mobile game Jungle Run, says Eddie Cal. No, it's not. Oh God! I didn't press B in time. I have a feeling if you use a classic controller pro for the Wii U, it'll substitute the Wii U touch controls. I said possibility, but I don't know for definite. Woo! Survivor822 says, I've seen your videos and they are great. This is the first live stream I've been to. Well, thank you very much. Uh, always, I always love a compliment. And uh, it's great to have new people along to live streams as well. So if you are new, thank you very much for coming along. And Oh, no. Oh, I was close. I'm watching the stream. Uh, we do loads of live streams. And uh, they're often unreleased games as well. Or new looks. Or early looks at games. I think I have missed one. Looks like I've missed one wizard. Unfortunately. They added a hundred more levels, correct, says Adam Coro. I'm not sure if that is correct. I don't know. For definite, I can't... I'm not going to... I'm not going to say anything for fact that I don't know for definite. There is, uh, if you go to Eurogamer.net right now, by the way, there is an awesome preview article by Tom Phillips, who um, has written up loads about this game. Uh, I'm any kind of info that I'm get, I know, I've got from that article. I'm referring to it every so often. That's where I got the name Murphy from. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yo. Oh, same here. In the comment was aimed at another poster who said it had been sent to die by Ubisoft, says the Guru Grunge. Uh, I 
guarantee this hasn't been sent out to die by Ubisoft. This is a, a definite labour of love, and you can tell that just by the awesome presentation of the game. Enemies from another world invaded a painting you've already visited. It created a new painting where you'll find new Tinksies to save. Oh, they're called Tinksies, are they? Not wizards. As you save more Tinksies, a new, new invasion paintings will appear. Continue. So let's have a look around quickly. Here is a kind of like level select lobby. It's all paintings. What's this say? Save enough Tinksies to break this lock and rescue me. And uh, I'm guessing then that this is substituted. This is different. Uh, they're not doing like the kind of world map that they did in the previous game. And there's no tree either. If I go back to the main gallery quickly though, have a look in here. Not too shabby, uh, says Master for Life One. Francis Racing, nice to see they've implemented a checkpoint system. Origins destroyed me and my childhood dreams. Yes, I did enjoy the fact that they've implemented a little bit of a checkpoint system. There was some infuriating moments with Rayman Origins. Uh, here you can see all the different levels. There's Titi's in Trouble, Toad Story, Fiestas de los Muertos, the stars underneath. Show the hardness. 20,000 lums under the sea. Olympus Maximus. Living Dead Party. Uh, Tom Phillips, in his uh, review, in his preview even, he mentioned 20,000 lums under the sea. And I think Olympus Maximus as well. So we'll check out a couple of the levels from those as well. If I go left this way, is Heroes. This is where you can change between the heroes of the game. Do you recommend this game to Survivor 82? Uh, so far I do. So far it looks awesome. Uh, I've only played as far as you can see really. Uh, is there a difficulty? No difficulty really. How do you feel about Ubisoft only creating games that they can have a long standing franchise for, says Adam Coro. I, I, if the franchises are good then that's fair enough. But they uh, also bring out new IPs as well, like The Division. Uh, you can easily swap between characters. This one is... I don't know who this one is. This one is the princess from Fiesta de la Muertos world. She's called Estelia. Uh, this one is Barbara, the small barbarian princess. And I'm going to stick... Actually, I'm not going to stick with Rayman. I'm going to go for Splinter Cell Rayman, just because... Sam Fish is pretty awesome. Uh, right, let's go back out here anyway. So that was the character select. I don't know who this guy is. In the challenges painting, you'll find challenges you can complete with friends, uh, uh, where you can compete with friends and players from, from around the world. I doubt there's going to be anyone online or anything for me to compete with, unfortunately. Uh, here is Kung Foot, which I'll show you in a second. It's a pity I don't have anyone to play Kung Foot with because it looks really good fun. My girlfriend, I asked my girlfriend if she'd join in and she was like, I'm too shy. So she's unfortunately not going to be uh, jumping in and playing it with me. Here's Back to Origins. We'll have a quick look at Back to Origins. Back to Origins is levels from the original level. Here you go. Welcome to Back to Origins. Here you'll find five new worlds full of new wor uh, paintings with many teenies to save. Scratch lucky tickets to unlock all these paintings. Or maybe they're not remakes of the original Origins ones then. Let's find out. We'll find out. Swinging Caves. Now, this is definitely the uh, level from Origins. Boing, boing. Yeah! yeah. It looks like Rayman's got his powers already of running up walls and stuff. You don't have to unlock those this time. Those lums look slightly different. There are some differences to the level by the looks of things. Like the, the Tinksies. It's new plants and stuff. So it's basically re recreations of the levels just with some more stuffs. get through this one swing in caves I remember a few of these you could slam on and get loads of coinage out of oh no failed I died already five star difficulty also known as the rage section on uh, Rayman Legends uh, says Giri Grange random uh, random newish says Jungle Run 2 is coming out on iOS this year 
<laughs> Gavin Rollins, have they changed the voice of Splinter Cell Rayman as well? I don't think they have. But they did get a new, younger motion uh, capture artist to come in and do all the animations. That bit was a lie. They didn't. Yeah. See if I can... Let's, let's just run through this level nice and quick. There's the, ex there's the exclusive Splinter Cell skin, says Master 4 Life 1. Do, do, do. Let me through the door. Will you ever do a live stream of The Last of Us? I've enjoyed those ones. Uh, I will do more li uh, The Last of Us live streams, yes. But probably not this week, because I'm out getting some... Saints Row 4 uh, interviews and some hopefully some exclusive gameplay footage as well er, uh, tomorrow so I won't be able to do that I won't be able to do a Last of Us live stream tomorrow and Friday I'm going to be live streaming Dynasty Warriors 8 so there will uh, there will be no The Last of Us live streams this week but maybe maybe next week most probably next week I'm also hoping to do an Ooya live stream soon. Oh, I fell off. I'm not really going through this uh, trying to collect too much, to be honest. Because we've all seen this. Anyone who's played Rayman Origins has kind of seen this level before. It's just, it's the same levels, just with added stuff from Rayman Legends. And it adds you know, a whole load more content to the game and more content is always good in video games. Come on, Larry. The amount of content in this game looks amazing since Guru Grunge. Yeah, it's cool. I think there's gonna be a lot to play with. I don't know I don't know for definite that there's you know, that it's gonna last for a long time though. Uh, I've not completed the game. I don't know anyone who's completed the game, so I couldn't give any of you uh, a, so, uh, a solid idea of how long the game will take to complete. But who knows? Please, PC says JK950831. As far as I know, there's no PC release. Sorry. Origins and Legend style. Beautiful says SP fan67. Do you know the price of this game, Ian? Says um, someone whose comment just disappeared. Uh, 99 to Paul R. I don't, I'm afraid, but uh, it, it'll probably be a full price. Oh no! It'll probably be a full price release. I wouldn't be surprised. One more guy to get. Here we go. Um, what next journey you looking forward most to? Uh, only the launch titles. Not sure. I'm looking forward to all of the next gen. I'm so excited about the next gen. Can't can't wait for all of it. Um, that house bit was a bit like Angry Birds. Says Jack M ninety three eleven. They've remade most of the art style, it seems, for these maps. Yes, they've made um, the engine. Where is it? Uh, in Tom Phillips' article. You can read about the uh, the engine in Tom Phillips' article. Uh, new features uh, also since January include gigantic bosses at the end of each level, Tom says. The only 3D designed creations in Legends evolved UBR engine. So it's the UBR engine that's been evolved for this new new um, new game. But please do head over to Eurogamer.net to check out that written preview. That'll give you all the technical stuff and all the like the big insider stuff in you know clear, precise in a clear, precise write-up without me going um, uh, uh, and dying all the time. I'm loving the art style, says Dodosaurus. Hey, and so I'm late. Just got home, picked up GTA 4, Saints Row 3, and Just Cause 2 to get in the GTA 5 mood, says uh, Andrew Graham says there. Awesome. Uh, Saints Row 4, like I said, I'm going to be going along to an event and playing that tomorrow and grabbing... Hopefully I'm going to be able to record footage of me playing it there. So um, if I can, I'll get that footage up on the... Eurogamer YouTube channel as soon as I can for you Saints Row fans. Let's have a quick look at Kung Foot, which um, 
it's so good, Tom actually opens his article with about three or four paragraphs about uh, Kung Foot. Um, and uh, it, it, I can't, unfortunately, it's best played with four people and you can't properly play it with one person. But um, there you go, see, it says ask your friends to join. I don't think it's online, I think it's uh, four players in a room. But you, uh, you have two people on each team. And then you get to, you have to kick the ball into the goal like that. But you can punch people and stun them as well. So you can, and you could goal hang. You could have one person playing as a goalie, one person shooting. So you could have someone standing here kicking a ball away, uh, and then you could have another person coming up and trying to beat them up. And but it looks like it's a very kind of addictive, simple game. And I'm guessing these boards, the one above there. And the one above there will show the scores of the matches. But very cool. You can get some big kicks on it. It's a full price release. £38 on my favoured website, says Guru Grunge. Um, Adam Coro, however, says 59.99. Maybe that's euros or dollars or something. Yeah, goal. Rayman looks different from my childhood, says Andrew Graham. Well, this Rayman is Splinter Cell Rayman. I'm wearing a Splinter Cell outfit. He is uh, he is different in the uh, he's he's different here, but the normal Rayman is just looks normal. Do 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 do. Seriously, Aliens in Saints Row again. It's a bit old, isn't it, says Mr. UK Raider. I think, I'm pretty sure that Saints Row 4... Let's have a look and see what happens here. Jump inside the paintings, the Tinsies need your help. Oh, he just gives hints, does he? Yeah, he gives you hints. Uh, so the, um, the Aliens in Saints Row 4. Saints Row 4 started off as DLC for Saints Row 3. And then they remade it into a full game. I think that's what's going on. Let's go over and let's have a look at 20,000 lums under the sea. Ian's playing football one step closer to a FIFA community stream, says Guru Grunge. No! I hate FIFA games. <laughs> Sorry if I'm missing out on comments. We had a load coming in. Reminds me of the original E3 trailer, says SPFan67. Fame Clan says, how are you, Ian? I'm very good, thank you. How are you doing? Uh, let's go into the mysterious, inflatable island. I hope they have more mini-games like Kung Fu. There, uh, there was something chained up, but I'm not too sure about uh, whether or not uh, there's more mini-games behind the chains, I'm afraid. Uh, what else have we got? Wish this was coming out on a PC like Origins. I love the first one. Maybe it'll come out. Maybe it'll come out later. How are you feeling after you stepped on the plug, Ian, says Nazi Q. Yeah, I stepped on a plug as I was setting up this live stream and my foot is still sore. Right, here we go. Diving straight in. And here's some of the cool music. I love this music. Oh, I missed it. It's a bit like Bomb Jack. If you can, like in Bomb Jack, you, if you get more points if you collect the the fizzing bombs. In this one, you get more points if you collect. You get more lums if you collect the purple lums. There we go. You can see, uh, you see, uh, Splinter Rayman's green goggles lighting up. That's kind of cool. Why is the challenge just padlock, says Random Welsh. I do believe you have to rescue more of these teensies to be able to uh, proceed. These searchlights, if you get caught in them too long, you die. Now 
No, I never used to play Mario Charged Strikers on the Wii, Mr. UK Raider. Uh. How's your kitten, says Henry Ha. She's very good, but she's very hot. She, um. Like I said, my house is boiling, and the kitten is just staying downstairs today. Oh no, she's up here actually. She's sat by the open window. Ha! Oh, crazy. She came in very quietly. It's like a Finding Nemo game we always wanted, says Gavin Rollins. And Survivor 82 says, such an upbeat game and soothing as well. Guru Grunge loved this song from the first game, so relaxing after playing a super hard level. Lots of fans of the original game watching this stream, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's very cool of Ubisoft to let me stream this before it, so soon before, it, uh, so far away from its actual release. Oh, popped, damn it. Oh, oh, I thought I was dead, but for some reason I wasn't. How many different music levels have you come across as Adam Coro? Um, I haven't uh, played, oh, I thought I died. Oh, god damn it, sorry, I'm trying to think and play at the same time. Worst combination for me, thinking and doing anything. Um, I haven't played any music levels yet. I've been told that there is a music level quite near the start, so I'm going to um, try that after this level, after I've shown you some underwater action. Jump on the inflatable island, says Osmos01. Sorry! I didn't do it, did I? Oh my god, the fish swim away. This is truly next generation, says Dodosaurus. It is! They stole that idea of Call of Duty, I think. The price of this game on Amazon is strange. Wii U, £34. PSV to £30. PS4, £40. And the 360, £32. Crazy. Sound design is uh, absolutely phenomenal. Just like Origin, says Drazzy Trazan. And in the dark, it has a kind of limbo look to it. Yes, it does. It does, doesn't it? Um, avoid the... Avoid the security system or whatever it is. I think they're searchlights. Happy! Oh, secrets. That scuba diving dude. Yeah. Alright, I just have to keep in the shadows of those things and I should be safe. Anything down here? No. Nope. Yeah, loads of whoa, loads of secret areas it dotted around. There you go. Help me, he says. Whoa! Oh, I lost my heart. Damn. One hit kill on those spiky things. Nice. If I go. Ooh. I can do this! There's another, looks like a secret place. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Teeny Tastic. Uh, Guru Grunge is right. He says, uh, he says that if you've got a heart floating above your head, you can take two hits instead of one. I have now lost my heart. I'm heartless. La 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 la. Ooh. Secrets. Again, what do I need? I need two more wizards uh, from the level and then one more secret wizard. Let's get the heart. There you go. There's another wizard. Or Teensy or whatever they're called. Two more into two. Well! Oh, that was close. Blinking lights, not good. Uh, ah, uh, oh, I didn't get killed completely. Oh, God. Let's just get out of there. Oh, wow, that was close. This music is very James Bond like, haha, <laughs> says uh, Drazzy Drazan. Oh, okay, off we go. I'm I'm presuming, like Origins, this game's more fun to play with uh, more people as well. Woo! 
I like that. When you find a secret place. Ooh. Glad I tuned into the stream. Gave me another game to buy. When it, oh, Jeebus. When it comes out, says 1992 bo uh, Paula. The Bio Lover. I hope Ubisoft Montpellier, what's it? And Ansel are doing Beyond Good and Evil 2 now. Yeah, that'd be great. That's something people have whoa, wanted for a long time. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Come on, yeah. Yeah, I've got the Teen Seas. Woo! <laughs> I like his little splinter goggles. Let's go. Oh, oh dear. I need that. And I'll take that, thank you. And then go through this kind of Bioshock style airlock almost. And there you go. Got them all. Hurrah! All this spotlight dodging, you're certainly just for the occasion. Yeah, that's true, I am Gavin Rollins. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get a gold cup. So, that was uh, a, a C level. Um, I just need to find out quickly... What the da, 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 da. castle? A level called Castle Rock. Okay. Cheers to Bratters on Twitter's for that heads up. Uh, it was Tinsy's trouble. Tinsy's in trouble. Creepy castle. Oh damn it! You only have to jump in and it opens up the uh, opens up the level. I didn't mean to do that. Quick, get out again. <coughs> Will the Xbox version have online leaderboard like the Willy U Challenge app? Yes. There will be some online leaderboards. Here you go. Castle Rock. So this is a music level. Yeah. Run with right trigger and left stick. X to hit. Okay. So it will play a song as long as I fail, as long as I don't fail. Any kind of missed jumps will uh, ruin things and kill me, I expect. It's a bit like Guitar Hero, if Guitar Hero was a wacky platformer. Ah! <laughs> oh, I wanted to know what that blue thing did. That was, that was going to be hilarious. Alright, here we go. Checkpoints, which is nice. Babylab. Babylab. Nice. I'm doing it. Whoa, dragons. So I'm not reading any comments. I'm having too much fun. And if I don't, if I look away, I'm bound to fail. Uh. <laughs> oh, I missed one! Damn it! I missed one. That was amazing. I missed one lum.
What console is this for? Says so Survivor 822. It's for the Xbox 360, the PS3, the PS Vita, and the Nintendo Wii U. Haha, <laughs> what a fantastic idea for a level, says Guru Grunge. As if Black Bet is on Rayman. Love this song, so no messing up, Ian, says Matty Max. Epic Skills are Ian, says Mr. UK Raider. I'd love to see one of the Fiesta levels, says SP Fan 67. Are your wishes my command, sir? We'll have a look at that next. Uh, did you finish The Last of Us, by the way, off to topic, but what did you think of the ending? Without spoiling it, says BioLever. I like the ending. I thought it was, um, uh, I thought it was very good. Congratulations. Um, that is my debug uh, Xbox gamer tag. You just reached the first level of awesomeness. Celebrate with these 1,000 lums. Hurrah! Yay, I got lums. Yum and yum and yum and yum. I'm not sure how you open these chains yet. Let's go and find a, a Fiesta level, shall we? I absolutely love these music scenes. When is the game coming out again, says Diguru? Uh, August the 30th, sir. Uh, in, the, in Europe, it's coming out August the 30th. Oh, let me get Wikipedia up quickly. August the 29th in Australia. August the 30th in Europe. And America gets it September the 3rd. Hooray, we get a game before America. <laughs> Nearly... Uh, did fingers up to the camera then, that would have been bad. That was an awesome level, says Andrew Graham. My new game of the year, says Dodosaurus. Bio level says awesome. I wonder if there's another music level at the end of this one. Mariachi Madness? Should we do it? I don't want to spoil all the music levels, but we'll do so I'll do one more. <coughs> okay, here we go. Mariachi. It's going to make me feel like Antonio Banderas. Or maybe Salma Hayek. Oh, I reckon this one's going to be a bit harder to do, isn't it? Oh, God. Wasn't expecting that. I need to remember to hit. There you go. Oh, God! <laughs> okay. Right. It's Rocky. Ah, oh, thumbs. Oh, I missed the... <laughs> dun, dun. Oh, come on, just when it was getting going as well. Yeah, I didn't die. Oh, I died. Oh, okay, so you have to kill those things. I thought they were pickups. Ah. Oh. They could make a whole game just of levels like this, and I'd play it all the way to the end, I reckon. <laughs> no. Come on. It starts getting really fast when the tempo goes. Ah, oh, I missed the wizard that time. <laughs> Ole! Highlight of the stream: Ian's pouting, Sal Ian Salma Hayek pouting impression. You should see me when I do my impression of her in From Dusk Till Dawn. The camera is uh, really low today. Back again, Ian, says Matty S. Prego. Hello there. Finally, we get a game before America because they already have Metal Gear Solid Legacy Edition. What? Okay. So, right. Let's uh, take a look at some more 
uh, normal levels. Hey! Hey! Boink. What the duck? This level's called. Okay. <clears throat> yeah! Ooh. Let's <laughs> turn me into a duck. Okay. This is interesting. I've still got the same powers, Rayman powers, as before, just duckified. Ah, Murphy's back. Do I have to hold it down? Yeah, there you go. Sorry. Press B to make Murphy eat cake. Oh! Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, I get ya. Come on! I want that. I want that lump. Okay! Nice work, Murphy. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna get that one anyway. Better than the original song Paul Ninety Two says about the the Rocky song. He's eating stuff for me. Eating cakes for me. Cheers, Murphy. Lots of lambs rescued there. Quack, 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 quack. Yippee, 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 okay. He's greedy. I wish I could eat that much cake. Okay, this... Uh, I don't want this guy to fall down, so I need to get him to eat cake now. Hooray, indeed! Well, this shows the diversity of the Rayman game. I think you might have spoiled a secret power. or well, the duck power? To be fair, this whole live stream spoilers. Because the game's not out for like a month. Woo! If they ever add multiplayer to Metal Gear Solids, it would be kind of like Spice vs. Mercs, except one person would control Snake and the others would control soldiers trying to kill Snake. Ah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Splinter Cell Ducklist, says Gavin Rollins. 1992 Paul R. I'm amazed at how much this game has progressed since the PS1. S325 Diner says, Ales? You are ducked up, man, says Abdullah Al Sawadi. This reminds me of the Begona Begoniac's boss fight in Rayman 3. This is Master for Life. Uh, Spinter Cell Duck Quacklist. Quacklist, yes, brilliant. Gavin Rollins. What life Murphy has. Goes around poking people in the eye and eating massive amounts of cakes, says Gavin Rollins. Right, what are we doing here? I need to get rid of the lava somehow. Well, that hasn't worked. Ah, I, I know what to do. Maybe. Or not. Help me! Okay, regrow. Regrow. Oh no! <laughs> Fail. Okay, so I need to just quickly. Boop. Okay, 
Okay, and now again, I need to go right up here. There you go. Nice. Why the duck is this level so fun to survive right you two? Andrew Coro, no, I've read that one. I've read them. I think I'm up to date on tweets. On texts. Up we go. Did I miss anything there? No. Ooh. Okay, Murphy, what are you doing here? I was lucky that was nearly hit me on the head. I'm missing. I'm missing a lot of cool stuff, I think. Can I go back over that way? No. Damn you, gravity. Oh no! Ooh. I thought I was going to roll down the hill and I was going to lose it then. Oh, nice. He got popped. Oh, there's one up top there. How do I get him? Uh, I'm missing some team teensies this time. Good day. Yoink. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Okay. Nom. Yeah, saved ya. He thought I was going to let him die. This is ducking brilliant, quacktastic, says Sam Matthews. I like Rayman, I like ducks. I'm okay with this as the S32-5 diner. Regenerating cake. This is heaven, says Dodosaurus. Oh man, totally. I want cake. <laughs> I don't want to just dump, jump straight down a hole. Oh, whoops. Was there something over there? No. Yum. Okay, let's try not to get my duck bottom spiked. That's good. Oh. Loading over the gaps. And this guy. I know, get you. Got you. Oh, he had a he had a um a tinksy in his hands. Feeling? No, I want to. Ah, oh, come on, stop it! I want to go down there. Ah, oh. yeah. Did anyone notice I've gone? Oh, who's gone? Nor did I. Says H. Sing. I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, wow. So, oh, pops, popped instantly. Oh, the puns are sending me quacker, says Guru Grunge. The game looks like it might be easier to comp 
on the Wii U because you can control Murphy's movements by the touch screen. I think Tom said uh, in his preview that, in a way, it's um, it's almost more fun and more hectic on the Wii U pad. Oh God! Or is it just going to keep coming out? Oh no! I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Failed there. Oh, this one's tricky. Any updates on the new DuckTales game, Ian? Um, I haven't got any updates on the new DuckTales game, but uh, as soon as um, if I just trap myself in the lava, as soon as I hear something, I will. Oh, oh no, it's hard. I will of course let you guys know, and I'll do a live stream on it as well if you uh, if you want. Ah, oh, dearie me, this is difficult with the uh, the wind constantly pushing you upwards. Ah, oh, it's just there as well. Lucky Murphy's diabetic. Just in case anyone's interested, Asda is selling Ride to Hell for £19, which is still too much, says Drunk Dougie. Don't buy that game. Ah. Don't give people money for that game, and then they may never make a bad game again. Ah, fly up. I just need to do the very end. Oh no. I think I've ruined it again. Oh, wow. Just one jump, and it's like. I've got to be really careful right there. And I'll try one more time, and then I'll move on. I just want to get the. I want to get all the, the teensies. It's my problem. I'm a bit of a completionist when it comes to these games. Oh. Who puts spiky teeth on cakes anyway. Right, I just need to do it. No. There you go. Come on, keep keep coming out. Is that just going to keep spawning that? Oh, get to That's it. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, Ride to Hell Special Edition, ten pounds on the PC at a game. Wow, that one, two, three, Woody Road. That is a big price drop considering the game only came out like last week or something. All right, we can carry on with the game now. I got my uh, got my collectionist. OCD out of the way. Oh no. I just. Oh, oh, oh! I just squished a little prize as well. Roast Duck SP Fan 67 was saying. Yeah, that was definitely. Um, roast Duck. Is that. You're only going to do it there for me, are you? Seems. Seems a little bit harsh. Yeah, oh my word. Oh. Do I dare? I dare. Missed one along the way by the looks of things. What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Is that bad? No, everything is falling down. Spiky cake land is taking a tumble.
Oh god. Oh, that sped up a little bit right at the end. I'm still annoyed with Ubisoft for the delay of the Wii U version, says Random Newish. Do they you know the reason why they delayed the Wii U version when it was confirmed finished back in March? Yes, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was delayed to um, get Xbox versions and stuff alongside uh, releasing alongside it, but also to add loads of new stuff. For instance, um, new six with six months development time. And the new PS3, Vita, and Xbox 360 versions. Legends has been bushed, buffed to a shine. Uh, it was the knowledge that the team would be given the extra months of development time to polish the game uh, that placated Ansel after hearing news of the game's delay. Uh, new features since January include gigantic bosses at the end of each level. Montpellier has also been working on new invasion levels for the main campaign where maps you've already beaten become infested with new enemies. These remixed levels offer a significantly harder challenge and come with a time limit to boot. Rayman's fans will also cherish a selection of Back to Origins levels from Legend's predecessors, predecessor rejigged and pimped out with the latest that the UBR engine has to offer. So there you go, there was six months extra to wait but there's a bucket load of brand new content for you. Uh, Guru Grand, I've read that one. Do you know any more of the free games with Xbox Live? No I don't I'm afraid, sorry. Jack M9311. Right, let's have a look at a different level. Let's get a different themed level going. Should we try Olympus Maximus? Living Dead Party. Um, so far I can't do. Actually, let's change up my character as well. I want to be someone else. Let's be someone else. Oh. Why is my camera jumping? It's not me. Not sure why my camera was vibrating there. A possibility my kitten ran past it. What's this one? Glow box. Uh, no, Tootsie Ray. Glow box. Let's be one of the new characters. Let's be one of the girls. Let's be Barbara. I hate when games are delayed. Pikmin 3 was meant to come out in November 2012 has been delayed to August 2013. Well, that is a big delay. I've heard that GTA 5 in GTA 5 you'll be able to see other players in your game real time like in Fable 3. Elaborate if you can on this please Ian. I'm afraid I can't. I have never heard that. I don't know. We don't know. Mr. UK Raider. 700 teensies, 100% it's going to take a long time, says uh, XX66XXRB. I think it is. I need a lot of patience to play this. Game looks great fun, though, says 1992 Paul R. I can understand Wii U owners being a bit miffed, but just look at this game. Well worth the wait, in my opinion, says the Guru of Grunge. Yeah. No, I'm not going to play another music level. I'm not going to spoil any more music levels for you guys. Uh, this is the Olympus level. And I've got an axe as well. Press down on uh, X to pull them out of the ground. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, I missed it. Do do do. Oh, nice flying pig constellation up there. Ha ha! Oh! Marcel's back to help us with this one. I want another song game. Uh, says Matty Mags. I'm, I can't, I'm afraid. Well, I could, but I don't want to spoil him for everyone. Maybe once the game's out, I'll do another live stream. Uh, 
It's excited for. I'm excited for Rayman. Maybe that's what you say. Oh, the camera is excited for Rayman. Gavin Rollins is saying. Yeah. Oh, poo. Thought I was going to bounce on his head, but I did it. Oh, hope that comes back again. I'm free. Yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah, got it. Yeah, I got him. Oh, whoops. Yeah, secrets. Yeah, secrets. Yeah, secrets. That music, love, 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 says SP fan 67 Very Mario 2 with the veggies out of the ground, says Master for Life. Uh, is anyone not going to get next gen this year, says H-Sing. Well, ooh, squish myself. If you aren't going to get next gen this year, then uh, definitely stay tuned to the channel and subscribe, because uh, I'll be getting next gen, and I will be streaming a load of the oh next gen games I'll be streaming all of the next gen games and doing let's plays and doing interviews and all stuff so yeah don't worry if you're not can't afford a next gen console or you're not getting one you'll still be able to see what it's all about in the live streams and hopefully I'll try and get one before they're available so you can see what they're like before they're in the shops but can't promise that one. It's too far away for me to know. Woo! I quite the look of this game, but don't think I'd buy it. It won't entertain me for long, says Matty Mags. You're not too much of a collector. This is uh, this is one for the collectors, I think. Hey, it's a hi ho mosquito music. Kick ass, says SP fan 67. I quite like the uh, no. Hello Ian, have you played much of Kung Fu at Eurogame at Towers? Says Rod Pod. I haven't, but uh, Tom Phillips has played it and he loved it. I think that was his... I, I really do think that uh, Kung Fu... Oh no! Was his favourite part of the game. Have you ever thought of entering any gaming tournaments, Ian? I.e. the Call of Duty Championships with the Team Eurogamer. Um, no. None of us are good enough or as great at swearing enough to enter a Call of Duty Championships. LOL. Right. I've always played games but I've never been I've never been super amazing at them. I've probably oh you know, I I've had a lot of practice at first person shooters. They're probably the ones oh Jeebus I'm best out, but um Yeah, I'd never be good enough to enter a tournament. You gotta have some serious skills to do that. Yay! What's going on here? Oh. Got fly into here. Fly over here. Lovely stuff. 
We'll be doing Streets of Battlefield 4 when it comes out, Ian. Certainly, and with 64 players online, I will also be doing big old community streams as well. So uh, I want to get I want to get all you guys playing as well. Oh, boo! What are you on about, Ian? Your swears are the best. No, I maybe on my maybe on my personal YouTube channel, but not on Eurogamer. I try not to swear. Always forget to change the stream to 720p on your Eurogamer videos, says Matty Max. I stream in 720p uh, all the time, yeah, so if you're watching in uh, oh, 360p, uh, you can change the quality to 720p and you'll be able to see the game in even more sexio vision. Oh, fudge. I've suddenly gone rubbish. I'm going to try and get a next-gen console, but uh, I have just got my own place and don't have any monies. I chose the wrong year to move out. Oh, I thought I was dead. Oh, I am now. Oh, no, no. Uh, that was from Andrew Graham, who's uh, in lucky, unlucky with monies, by the sounds of things. Yeah, uh, moving house is incredibly, uh, incredibly expensive thing to do. So, I, uh, I empathise with you for... Oh, having to save your money. Can't. I got a complete... Oh, God damn it. If I can complete this level, then I can end the stream. Oh no, come on, Ian. Oh! She fires things. Oh. Yeah, you know, I got a little I got a little thing that helps me fire things. What's up there, actually? Is there a secret up there? Yeah, there is a secret. Cool. What made you want to do live streams of games to Survivor 882? Uh, I love playing games. I like doing Let's Plays. And I used to work in live TV. Um, so, whoops. I was very interested in live streaming when I first heard about it on YouTube. So, yeah. I just, I just love, love... Oh, God, come on! I love playing games live, and uh, I like being able to uh, interact with you guys as well when I do it. Take your questions and have a laugh with you guys, and do shout-outs, and... Oh, these... Swords are... The homing swords. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Can I bow up the swords? No. Ha! -ha! I'll be there for the battlefield for multiplayer's drunk Dougie. Considered capturing next gen console gameplay in 1080p. I have done one 1080p stream before and it was very laggy for some people, so I decided to stick with 720p streams. Maybe if in the future, you know, people's stream capabilities go up a little bit, but um, I think 720p is probably the limit for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! I keep forgetting what the buttons to press up. This level's epic. Down and help. Oh, my God! I got Zeus. Or Thord. Thor's the one with the power of lightning, isn't he? But I got some kind of Greek god came and Kicked my backside. Yes! Woo! Great level, hey! See how I did. 
Yeah, I got a gold. Hooray! So there you go, that was Olympus Maximus there, level done. So I think I'm going to call it quits there. I don't want to show you too much of the game. I'll show you a few of the early beginning levels, but each kind of level has another. Like then you could play the level again if you wanted, uh, which would have more bad guys and a time limit and more teensies to get, more trophies to get. So massive game if you want 100% everything. Then there's all these levels here. And there are uh, at the end. Oh, I think that was locked. Dragon Slayer. I wonder if that is a musical. Look at her doing the splits. I wonder if that's another music level. It is because it's got a crown with a mu uh, with a musical note above it. So there you go. Uh, I well want to blow a building up with you in it on Battlefield Four. Says Matty Mags. Oh, nice. Dylan Cool Tool. Uh, Two Cool Dalton. Says Sup Ian. Uh, yeah, it's all good. I hope you're good. But unfortunately, the stream is ending now. Give it 10 years and everyone will be streaming in 4K, lol, says Gavin Rollins. Well, yeah, I look forward to that. I look forward to streaming in 4K. It'll be sweet. Uh, I got Zeus. Haha, <laughs> love it, says X66RB. Um, great stream, Ian. Really looking forward to this game now, says Guru Grunge. Matt Max says bye. Uh, like a boss, says 992 Paul. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you very much to everybody for watching. Thanks to Ubisoft for uh, allowing me to stream it a long time before it's released. But it does look great, and a lot of you guys seem to be having some big old positive opinions on it. So uh, I think I think. Uh, I think it's worked out all right for Ubisoft as well, me doing this stream. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned to Eurogamer. Plenty more stuff coming up in the near future. I'm out tomorrow uh, doing some... Uh, uh, getting interviews for Saints Row 4. So tweet me any questions you've got for Saints Row 4 to... That Twitter there, Ian Higton, uh, Ian Higton, if you want any, me to ask any questions about Saints Row 4. Uh, I think there's going to be developers there, fingers crossed. I'm also going to be able to capture footage. Well, I'm, I'm going to hope that I can capture footage. So I'm going to capture my own exclusive gameplay footage for that. And that will go up on the Eurogamer YouTube channel as well, which will be lovely stuff if you're a fan of Saints Row. And uh, my, uh, Friday I will be live streaming Dynasty Warriors 8. And also tomorrow, I'm going to be. There will be a unboxing for the video gaming footboard, the Stinky Board. If you don't know what one of them is, look at www.stinkyboard.com. I've done an unboxing for it, and I'll be doing a proper demo test of it as a video later on. But anyway, yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're a newbie. Loads of early gameplay game uh, for unreleased games and. What am I talking about? Loads of early live streams for unreleased games, early live uh, let's plays, uh, exclusive interviews, interactive live streams, loads of stuff, so much stuff that my words have become jumbled. Uh, thanks to Survivor882, thanks to Matteo Prego, thanks to Master for Life, thanks to Drazzy Drazan, thanks to Matteo Ramirez, thanks to Dylan Tuku Dalton, thanks to Andrew Graham, thanks to Mr. UK Raider, thanks to Iceman Gary, thanks to Yohaza Rara, thanks to Ziguru, thanks to 1992 Paul R, thanks to Gavin Rollins, thanks to XX66XXRB, thanks to Guru Grunge, thanks to Matty Mags, thanks to Mr. Lazy Boy, Mr. Uh, Matthias Prego, Survivor882, uh, and everyone else, like SP Fan 67 and Rod Pad, and everyone else, H Thing, anyone else I haven't been able to um, uh, mention. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, please follow us on Twitter, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.